Hello brothers, today we are looking at the Haibao 06 EV model, which is the top flagship version. This is its key. All right, let's take a quick look at the exterior and interior of this car. Uh, in terms of the overall shape, Simtao, Tsang compared to the Dia. So it is roughly similar, but there are some detailed changes. I know, for example, in the middle here, there are two concave lines, and on both sides, it bulges out. Just when viewed from the front, it still has a very three-dimensional feel. The light set uses an integrated headlamp design. Below here are its daytime running lights, and inside are its high and low beam lights, all of which are LED. Then, here on the lower bumper, it has an air vent, which can reduce some drag coefficient while driving. The front bumper has six radar points, and this car comes with front parking sensors. The front windshield here has three cameras, and this car has driver assistance features. It uses NVIDIA or an N chips with a computing power of 84 tops. Also, when the driver assistance is activated, this small blue light on the mirror will light up, which means it's not being driven by a human. The vehicle's dimensions are length 4720 with 1880, height 1495, and a wheelbase of 2820. Positioned as a mid-sized car, you know, it uses like a front McPherson and rear multi-link suspension structure. The wheels are multi-spoke aluminum alloy with a sporty design. The tire size is 22550R18. On the passenger, oh, then I see it. On the passenger side rear, uh, there is the charging port, which has fast charging and slow charging. This is the rear of the car. On the roof, you can see there's a shark fin, and it has a camera on it. The taillight continues to use a through-type design, and next to the taillight, there's a small droplet shape, indicating that it is the ocean version model. Then the lower bumper has six radar points. This car comes with rear parking radar and also has an assisted parking function, which is quite user-friendly for beginners. Regarding the trunk, it is mechanically opened. Press this button and once it's open, this is the state with the rear seats not folded down. You can check out its space performance. The rear seats also support a 60-40 split folding. After folding down, you can take a look. To be honest, it's quite flat, but if someone lies down, they'll definitely feel uncomfortable. Placing a long object is definitely not a problem. The front hood uses a strut design, and there is no soundproof cotton on the hood. Since this car uses a rear motor layout, the front compartment here has been made into a storage space, which is quite deep and can be used to store personal items. In terms of power, this car has a maximum output of 160 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 330 newton meters. The battery used is a lithium iron phosphate battery from BYD with a capacity of 56.64 kilowatt hours. And this part is for adding windshield washer fluid. Then go to buy and make sure not to pay a high price. The door handle uses the popular mechanical type. The front row features keyless entry. The side mirror has an automatic folding function when locking the car. When you open the car door, the seat automatically moves backward. And when you enter the car and close the door, it returns to its normal position. Uh, in terms of the interior, take a look. It's still a familiar design with a floating screen in the middle and an embedded instrument screen. However, the top model comes with a heads-up display that can be adjusted up and down according to our preferences. Uh, this year, uh, so this, uh, the steering wheel here, uh, Sheola here, uses a leather-wrapped material with some functional buttons on both sides. On the left, you can see there is cruise control and a small tab to activate the assisted driving feature. Here is the gear lever, using a column shifter design, which saves some space in the center console for other uses. The door panel here is soft, with a combination in the middle. Here is a trim panel, and below this is all wrapped in leather. The top of the entire dashboard here is soft, but to be honest, I can't tell if it's sugar-coated plastic or leather. Anyway, it's soft. Then in the middle, there is a piano lacquer trim piece, and below here, it's all leather wrapped. And the middle here, you can see, uh, has a ring of slow reflection light strips, which, when lit up, also enhance the overall interior ambiance. Uh, the central control screen uh, uses a 15.6-inch LCD uh, display. Uh, the interface is still the familiar one, but now with assisted driving, the screen can no longer rotate. It also comes with some commonly used apps that can be synced with our phones. You can see here it has a cloud point. That's right, the suspension can adjust the hardness according to our driving habits. Below the center console here, there are two places to put phones. The left side even supports 50-watt wireless fast charging and also has a key inquiry function. Then below here, it says that it has set up some shortcuts, such as for turning on the air conditioner. And then its start button, high beams, this is for adjusting its driving mode. And here, two cup holders are set. Then inside its central armrest box is a small refrigerator. Here you can adjust its temperature, and you can also adjust it on the central control screen. The cooling ranges from negative 6 degrees to positive 6 degrees, and the heating is from 35 degrees to 50 degrees. If you want to turn it off, you can do so on the center console screen. Below the center console, there's a hollow space where you can place a small bag or something, and inside there's a 12-volt power outlet. 
There's a Type-C charging port and a USB data interface where you can plug in a USB drive to listen to music. In the middle, there is also a place for a storage card. The seats are covered with leather material and the top has a perforated design. Sitting in it feels very soft, especially the middle part, and it's integrated. The front two seats come with ventilation and heating functions. In the middle above, there's a sunglasses box, don't forget to mention that. The two sun visors in the front come with makeup mirrors and fill lights. Light. The passenger side here has a handle, and the roof here features a sunroof design. You must admit the area is quite large for a sedan, and there's a sunshade. The sunroof can be open, providing shade in the summer and warmth in the winter. Standard across the entire range. Now I will adjust the front seat into a normal driving position. As everyone knows, I am 1 meter 72 tall. Let's check out the space in the back seat. Uh, sit down. Um, hmm. There's about two fists of space left, and in the middle, there's a small pocket. The entire rear floor is completely flat, and the rear here has an independent storage compartment at the bottom, with two charging ports, one USB and one Type-C. The rear seat back has three detachable headrests, and there's an armrest in the middle with two cup holders inside. Looking at the rear headroom, when I sit up straight, 